What's up with your family? It's your boy, the one and only Brenda's baby, Remiel Ma'at. You are now tuned in to Ma'at TV. Most of y'all already know the routine, but if you're new to the channel, I need y'all to like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted and notified whenever I drop this heat. Here we are, once again, back at square one. I need y'all to share this video. You definitely wanna share this video and get this message out because we getting sick and tired of this shit. We've been sick and tired of it. We're tired of getting back to square one with this man. And this video is of Sugarfoot, AKA Mr. How? Mr. Howism Gay. A young Pharaoh. This video is of him going in on the black community for the 50th, 11th time, disrespecting and generalizing black women, spewing lies about Golden Beauty and her family once again. So, definitely share this video. I'm going to give my commentary throughout the video and some at the end. So, without further ado, Roll that beautiful bean footage. In intelligence and you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers might not be lawyers and know the law, but they'll feed you if you're hungry. So it's like black what, what, why are black women so grimy and evil? Bitches be hating on their kids, mothers be fucking their daughters, boyfriends and shit. Like y'all some grimy ass bitches. Oh, oh my god! See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Generalizing black women and making up false allegations and lies about them. This is slander of black women. People and, and his subscribers come over and be like, oh, why are you going down on another black man? So he gets to disrespect the black community. Most importantly, disrespect black women, but nobody's supposed to say nothing. Fuck out of here. Not on my watch. This shit is crazy. Now, you claiming that black women be fucking their daughter's boyfriend? Where they do that at? He even tried to say that about Golden Beauty Ma. Because she called him a good man. Uh, well, he claims that she called him a good man. All y'all hoes is grimy. And y'all can say what y'all want to say about other races. I didn't grow with other races. I grew up with black women. And, and black women have scarred me to the point where I don't even want my kids to grow up with y'all. I don't want my son dating no black American woman. I don't want my daughter dating no black American man. It's not happening. I I'd rather they date a damn Asian Buddhist. Oh, hell no! Period. Like, I don't want my kids, I don't want my kids dating no fucking black people from America. It's a wrap. They're not growing up with y'all. They're not hanging with y'all. They're not hanging with y'all kids. They damn sure not going behind closed doors with y'all because I know what y'all do behind closed doors. Me and the white man both know because y'all do it to them. You did it to me. Gotta stop you right there with another lie. Because according to you, my man, old Sugarfoot, you didn't really grow up on Grill First Street. You said you grew up around white folks. You said you were around white folks majority of your life. Remember when you was over there juggling the white man balls and trying to be over there with him like you're doing now? In this video, you said you weren't from Guilford and you, you run around black people. So the story keeps shifting and changing. And like I said in my previous video, we're not worried about who you want your kids around. Because you're not allowed to be around them. So every time you try to throw it in our faces that you don't want your kids around black folks, we're just going to throw it back in your face. That you're not even allowed around them. Ah! Oh, grimy as fuck. I used to tell Golden Mom this shit. I tried to tell Golden Mom the shit she was doing one time. I told y'all she gonna tell me. Stop acting like a bitch reporting to me every time my daughter do something. But then, but then it's okay for y'all to lie and say I'm abusive to y'all daughter when I'm really not. When I probably should have been. Well, ain't nobody gotta lie about you abusing that girl. 
there's video evidence there's evidence that came out of your mouth so ain't nobody gotta lie about that and then he says he should have been abusive to her as if he wasn't abusive to her my nigga you beat the hell out of her you kicked her and you dragged her out the house by her ponytail and then kicked her in the head you also punched her while the baby was in her hands hitting the baby by accident we're not gonna forget that my nigga you did abuse her so you don't want to reprimand your daughter but then i can't do it but then you could lie and say that i am abusing her and i'm not her father i tried to tell her father one time what she was doing her father talking about some fuck you white boy you a white boy you be with white boys Nobody never heard of you. You not from Guilford. And that's why you don't got your kids. I swear to God, her father tried to tell me one time. Basically, ha ha, that's why I don't got my kids and I'm a white boy. Be Here he go projecting this white boy shit. Nobody has ever called him a white boy. He is projecting this shit because he wants people to call him a white boy. And of course, her mom is going to tell you to stop calling her and acting like a bitch every time her daughter does something. You're a man. You're supposed to handle the situation on your own. Her daughter's an adult. Her daughter's an adult. What would she want to, you know? And you're not from Guilford Street, my nigga. You've admitted that several times. But the point is, this projecting this white boy shit is getting very old. Because uh, we was arguing because Golden called my phone talking about some. Can I please, please come home because my mother and my brother is being mean to the kids because they your kids and they don't like you. And then she told me that her brother molested her growing up. So I, uh, of course, I did. Uh, I, at that time, then I didn't want my daughter around her brother because you just told me he's a molester. That's false. Golden Beauty and her brother and the mother and father have confirmed that none of this shit has ever happened. None of this shit has ever happened. Her brother never touched her. Her brother and her have had a great relationship their entire lives. And I feel like Thorough was trying to isolate Golden Beauty and get her family to turn on her. That's why he's doing his best to throw dirt on their name in front of the whole world. Keep going to the internet making these fucked up crazy accusations about her brother and her mother and her father hoping that probably probably hopes that they will turn on gold beauty and force her to come back to him too bad it ain't working and then your father's calling me a white boy and your mother telling me stop acting like a bitch every time i report the shit you do so why would i want my kids behind closed doors with some abusive motherfuckers at least what i thought at the time and i don't know if her brother molested her or not all i know is that's what she said and then she's gonna try to oh i never said that when I'm like, you did say that. You did say that. So you know damn well she never told you that shit. You know how I know? Because Pharaoh keeps proof of everything. If he, if it's true, and he's not lying, young Pharaoh keeps a record. He keeps a record of everything. And if he has receipts, he always, always shows them. He hasn't shown us not one receipt proving that she ever said this. Oh, you did not. She's ever. She. She's ever said it. And if you ain't got no proof, she said the shit. And what do you want us to do? Because you sent. You, you've been lying to us all year. So why the fuck should we? Will, will we believe some shit like that? So I'm just like, it's too many mind games. I've seen the mind games my baby mothers play. I've seen the mind games every bitch from my grandma down plays. My grandma used to fucking wave a shotgun. My grandma used to get drunk and aim her shotgun at me. I used to stare down the, the, the barrel of a single uh, uh, single barrel Mossberg shotgun when I was a kid because my grandma used to get drunk and put her shotgun in my face and just aim her shotgun in my face when I was a kid. There you go again. He even lying on his own grandma. This is how far he will go to slander the black community. This is how far he will go. Even throwing dirt on his own grandma name. What? What grandma is getting drunk holding shotguns to children? Where, where they do that at? Don't worry, I'll wait. Where have you ever seen some shit like that? 
grandma holding a shotgun. Now, if she said grandma had a knife, cause them, you know, them old school women, they'll cut you. They'll cut you quick. If he said that, that would have been sounding more believable. And like I said, just earlier, when young Pharaoh has proof of something, he shows receipts. Why didn't you tell us that in the beginning, when you first came out? Why is this now just coming up? Come on now. You just now telling us 10 years later, come on, get the fuck out of here, man. That would have been a part of his struggle story. Abusive. Black women are abusive. I do not want y'all bitches raising my kids. I don't want y'all around my kids. Do not touch my fucking kids. Do not touch my fucking kids. And if I find out one, any black person in this whole fucking country ever put their hands on my kids, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. I don't give a fuck. And I'm saying it live on YouTube. I do not want no motherfucking black person in this whole country. I don't give a fuck if you military, police, civilian. Do not be around my motherfucking kids. Do not touch my motherfucking kids. White man ain't gonna touch my kids anyway. I don't touch it. Do not touch my motherfucking kids. If my kids do anything, I will reprimand them, reprimand them as a parent. Don't nobody in this whole fucking country better ever touch my fucking kids. Especially if you fucking black. Or I swear to God, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. I don't give a fuck. Because y'all some sick, nasty motherfuckers behind the scenes. And y'all think, don't nobody know. But the veil is snacked down. I snack, ha! Huh. Let the whole world see how nasty y'all motherfuckers is. Let the whole world see how nasty y'all motherfuckers is. Y'all some nasty, sick motherfuckers. At the end of the day, this is just a smear campaign for two reasons. He wants to get back in the uh, good graces of the public eye by victimizing himself and making everyone else look like they're the bad guy. Golden Beauty and, and Camille it, it just turn, all of a sudden turn into the Joker. And you can keep trying to make the black community mad all you want and about oh i don't want y'all around my kids y'all not going to be raised around my kid i'm not going to raise my kids around the black community i don't want my daughters dating black men and blase blah we don't care my nigga because at the end of the day you can't even be around your kids so that decision isn't up to you it's up to golden beauty and camille You have no say in who your kids are around because they can't even be around you. So what you say don't matter. And get off the Asian and white man dick, bro. They don't want you over there. They don't want you over here. You have no race. You have no home. No one, no one wants you. They don't want you over there. And I hope your daughter come home with one of them big mendingo, African big dick, African mendingo niggas. I hope she bring one of them home. And I hope your son bring home one of them big booty, lace front wearing ghetto chicks. Because that's, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. Your daughter going to come home with one of them big dick mendingo African niggas. And your son is going to come home with one of them big booty, lace front weed wearing, long fingernail having ghetto chicks. And I'm going to love it. Love every minute of it. That's exactly what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, this is just a smear campaign for him to try to get back into the good, the good graces of the public eye. And it's not working. Because he's been spewing the same lies over and over. But the story keeps changing. The story has evolved several times. We ain't trying to hear that shit no more. But this is a prime example why I speak out against him. People be in my comment section talking about, oh, why are you going at him, this, that, and the third? Why are you going at another black man? But this is the reason why. This right here was a prime example. You already know, that's just simply my humble opinion on this situation. Definitely let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification bell and make sure it's on all so you can be alerted and notified whenever I drop this heat. It's your boy, the one and only, Brenda's baby, Remy L. My Hot. You were just tuned in to my Hot TV. I see y'all when I see y'all. Until then.
You better be careful there, little buddy. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I do cocaine. Don't tell nobody. <laughs>